Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hello, everybody. I'll scooch down here. Uh, where I'm from, the road. Literally, from the road. Since there are no tornadoes to film, we're gonna film me. Look at this new... Really? Nice sticky thing that allows things to stick to the uh, dashboard. So we got a <clears throat> video request, and if you have video request or just a regular request in general, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com and get the opinions of a professional asshole, i.e. me. <clears throat> Mario Wright. Couple questions. Oh, sorry, there we go. Hello, Aaron. I need some guidance and wisdom for a decision I am about to make concerning my education. I'm a 21-year-old male living in Los Angeles with my parents. I've been working and going to community college for a few years while I've maintained a 3.5 GPA. Very good. And have been accepted to the UCLA and uh, a Cal State with a respectable engineering program. I did not get accepted into the UCLA for my first choice major, electrical engineering, but I got accepted for my second choice, applied mathematics. And what's happening there is what is common, and I know this happens in the <coughs> U of California system, is they're trying to wash you out. Um, so they make you take a generalist, uh, declare a generalist major. And if you have the, the balls to get through that, then you go ahead and um, then they'll allow you to get into the electrical engineering major. Um, so just to, just to, you know, that's that's what a lot, they do to a lot of people. <coughs> Um, but I got accepted for my second choice uh, into Cal State for Electrical Engineering. Uh, I have enough money saved up in grants and scholarships so that I could go to both schools without taking on any loans. Awesome! I'm confident that I can succeed academically at both schools. I am leaning towards Cal State because Electrical Engineering is my top career choice. But I'm worried that the school does not have a big enough name to help me land job straight out of college. I just don't see the job market for engineers getting any better. No jobs for anybody is getting any better. <laughs> it's not true. It's slowly, slowly getting better. I just don't see the job. Uh, yeah. I applied to eight summer engineering internships, some in different states this past semester. I have not heard back from any of them. Ah, uh, dude, that's nothing. Eight is nothing. That You should be able to bang that out in a day. Uh, you got to send out at least a hundred before you're going to expect any kind of results. Um, so that's that is that's nothing. Uh, I even had some pretty good letters of recommendation from my professors. That doesn't matter. Trust me, you are overestimating on how or you're you're overestimating overestimating the ease by which it is to get a job or an internship. We're talking. I had saved all my rejection letters and had them up on my wall one time, and it filled up an entire wall in my apartment. I ended up throwing them away because I really wanted to like prove to them that I'd like you know I wanted to remind myself that these fuckers are wrong, which they were. But in the end, they just like it's a wall full of rejection letters. So I threw them away. But trust you me, out of that wall, hundreds. What? Three internships and maybe two jobs. So. Uh, you gotta, you gotta lower your expectations and where you gotta increase what you gotta do. You gotta think more pessimistically and tenfold times the amount of work to get an internship. of a pessimist, but at times I feel that I made the wrong decision these past three and a half years 
I probably could, should have gotten a full-time job straight out of high school and develop my skills while living with my parents so that I could save up enough money and maybe purchase a home and move out. Um, no, dude, you just told me you got a free ride, like you saved up enough money, you got enough scholarships. You're doing the right thing. You're doing. You're not supposed to be CEO at the age of 21. So uh, you're doing all right. Uh, you don't want to own a home at your age, trust me. I regret not having the chance to travel and really live life. It will all be in vain if I spend five to six years in college and don't come out with any better job prospects than when I graduated high school. I really enjoy your channel. I hope you can help me with this dilemma. hope I didn't ramble too much. Appreciate your insight. Uh, this is a video request. Thank you. Okay, uh, here's the deal. You go to Cal State. I think it's arrogant and cocky that they're going to, well, we're going to make you jump through hoops and you have to apply for applied science or applied mathematics first and then we're going to... Fuck UCLA, all right? I looked up. I looked up the top electrical engineering programs. UCLA ain't there. Neither is Cal State, but UCLA isn't there. And what they're starting to find out is it doesn't matter what school you go to as long as it's accredited. It's what you major in. So I would absolutely go to Cal State. I would declare your electrical engineering major and give the proverbial bird to UCLA. Um, the other thing, we got to talk about you getting out of California. So you make them pay for your education and then you go work someplace where they pay really well. I'd say Texas, Florida, uh, South Dakota, some place that's fun, Colorado, whatever. Just get out of California unless you really like it. I don't know why you would, but if you really like it, okay, but you're going to be paying taxes up the wazoo, you're going to be like, dealing with a bunch of leftist shit big. I can only imagine what it's like dating the women out there. I can only imagine, because I dated two girls from California, and both were in the top 10, not 10%, the top 10 of bad shit and same women I've ever dated. So, you know, just just consider that, that's step that's step number two. You get your electrical engineering degree, and then you get a job outside of California. Um... Uh, and yeah, so you're doing fine, you know, just uh, go for electrical engineering. Out of all the majors, I think only petroleum engineering or becoming a surgeon it has a higher rate of employment and success. I don't think you're going to have to worry about it. You're not going to waste your time. You'll have a real degree. And please, don't go after an MBA unless they're going to pay for it. Absolutely not. Do not go after an MBA if they're going to pay for it. And that's it. That's all we got. So best of luck to you. Do this.